previously on. Let me tell you something. Oh my God! A shit! Oh, Yo! Say that, huh? Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. Mm. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Oh, mm. Valentine's been game. Uh -huh. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. No, okay. Whoa. Can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Okay. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. All right, Dr. Amari, I trust you. There. Right. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Okay. So... I am literally in Kellogg's brain, so these little path things are the neurons, so I'm just going to walk on them and step myself into... Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. Oh. This may prove disorienting at first. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Well, in that case, I'm going to check out this memory. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. That sucks. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Hmm. Dead beat dad, how typical. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Mm, what a joke. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Holy shit. I don't know what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. What's it mean, Mom? Oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. Whoa, that is not I told your myself problem. I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. But you were a kid. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. You couldn't do anything. You were a kid. Not it's not your fault. Me. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Dimitri at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. Really? Stop him from going to school? Did you put my boot? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. Whoa. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. But he's a kid. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. Oh no. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. You gotta be I, kidding me. I, will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. 
Wow. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Holy shit, so Kellogg grew up in an abusive household. Mom got beatings. Dad's drunk. And I didn't like how she basically forced him to grow up so fast. I mean, which resulted in him being guilty on not protecting her. But then, at the end of the day, Kellogg was just a little kid. What can you do as a little kid? It's not your job to act like a parent, in a way. Like, I don't know. That's bullshit. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it... When it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but, uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Hmm. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Damn, Ketlong. Why? If she'd never met me. She'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Nah. Uh, Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. <gasps> oh my god. That's fucked up. So she's dead. And look. Kellogg had... A daughter. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Why? Because you feel guilty for not protecting your mom? So you think you can't protect your own kid? Come on, Kellogg. Stop this, bro. Like... Holy shit. Like, I get it. You had issues with your mom. Which, from what I'm seeing here, totally affected your marriage. Up to the point where you're... Basically... You basically let your fear of being... Useful... Useless... Costed you your wife and daughter, so... Damn, Kellogg. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Hmm. But we don't know anybody here. Oh, come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Well, then I can you... give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? 
Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? Wow. This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Wow, look at you. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. Wow, look at him. Basically, he had his doubts. But he still tried. And I'm not used to seeing Kellogg with hair. <laughs> or his scruffed up beard. Okay, let's see what this memory shows. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? Wait, what? Kellogg. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Kellogg. What's just going so on? you know, they died like dogs. Wow! And you weren't there to help them. Oh no, Kellogg! Holy I shit. I another memory to try. I'll connect you. Oh my god, this gave me goosebumps. Like, I literally have goosebumps right now. So that basically... So that's basically how his wife died. And his daughter. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kellogg, I'm so sorry. It makes sense as to why you're so cold-blooded and fucking emotionless. You couldn't protect your mom? You couldn't protect your kid? You couldn't protect your wife? Fuck me, man. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but, uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Hmm. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Yeah, to escape from all that bullshit with your wife and daughter. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. <laughs> it was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Hmm. We pay you. When the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Wow. Try this next one. This is fucking ridiculous. But then again... Of course, Kellogg would be in the mercenary business because even if he died... He technically had nothing to lose. Who's gonna miss him? He basically lost everyone. 
didn't matter if he got killed or not at that point maybe Loki that's why he just throw himself into the mercenary life just to see if maybe one day he hoped to get killed Mr. Kellogg I'm glad you decided to meet with me oh shit so, you're with the Institute I want I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. Because you're gonna lose them. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Yeah, they are so creepy. Really existed. We do. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute, but I figured. They were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. Damn. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Woo! Oh, oh, shit. Kellogg! So... Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Holy shit, he just went. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Yo, he just went full-blown John Wick on them bitches. Alright, let me see what this is. This is crazy. Alright, I get it. I get it. I know Kellogg is a bad guy and everything, but... I don't know. I'm like, I'm starting to have mixed feel. No. What the fuck? Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. No. Suspended. No. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. Why? If they needed something done, they came to me. Why? It wasn't Why? usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. Vault computers are still working. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a... dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. That's good. Fucking hell. Checking through the logs. Hopefully, it's all just find it. I can't believe Box I'm reliving this down memory. The hall near the end. I can't believe I'm reliving this fucking memory. You know, I almost felt sorry for you, Kellogg. By this point, fuck you. This is the one. Here. Oh my god, that's me. Open it. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. 
But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Fuck you, bitch. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Really? If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Huh. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. You're a child killer? But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Oh, you fucking asshole. Oh, no. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Fuck you, Kellogg! Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. And look at me. I'm freaking out. Go. I'm only gonna tell you once. Oh my fucking god. Bam. There you go. What the fuck? Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Fuck you, Kellogg! And look at me, I'm freaking out! Holy What's shit. The hold up? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're good. I'm, uh... I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yo, honestly, my character... I know it's way more than PTSD at this point, like, the fact that I had to relive seeing my husband being killed AGAIN! AGAIN! Like, how can anyone just casually get over that? Like, I don't know. I can't. Like, I get it, Kellogg, your life was fucked, but fuck you still! Like, seriously, fuck you! Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so... How recent? News, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. Liking it? A reminder it? of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Why are you calling my son an it? But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. What do you mean, Kellogg? Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Wow. Time it couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. So you mean to tell me I was meant to Only find your place? Only if he me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wow. What the fuck? And I want to know exactly who's the old man who's keeping my son hostage. Because once I find him, I'm going to beat his ass. Kellogg. Whoa! It's okay. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. You're a synth, Some bro? Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. Clearly. They were killing machines. Pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. Well, like the Terminator? I'm just glad they were always on my side. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in... He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Glowing sea? Huh. Wow. 
Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. Holy he shit. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Father? To me Bitch, that old me. man ain't your father. Okay. He kidnapped you. Your father is basically, um, <clears throat> in the fault dead. But anyways. Alright, so, let's see. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Relay? Oh, I hope I see you again soon. Wait, they just teleported? Uh. Holy fuck! Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Yeah, you're right. It makes sense let me now. Pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. All right, bitch. Let me go. Hurry up. Oh, thank God. I'm out of here. Wow. Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Uh, well, being that I just saw my husband being killed again, how the fuck do you think I feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Right. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Uh, pshh. I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. Yeah. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. I mean, he's still a fucking dick, but... make you feel? Honestly... Does it even matter? The bitch is dead. Does it really matter how I feel, Doctor? Yes. Really? You can't tell me that bearing witness to that man's life didn't affect you. <sighs> therapy. Dead. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? Uh, well, being that I killed Kellogg, and being that he didn't touch Virgil... That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Exactly. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No what do you mean? There. What do you mean? Why? Not even if they were desperate. What's wrong with the glowing sea? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. What Radiation. Mean? What? So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Wait, the glowing sea? Radiation? You mean to tell me that's the same spot that the atomic just blew on? Cause that's basically ground zero. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. So, how? How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? The yeah. The chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. Mm. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. So a hazmat suit or a power armor. Or I can just basically dope up with Radax right away like a fucking crackhead, so... Yeah, I like these options. They're pretty cool. Oh, I'm going in naked. 
Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. No shit. Mm -hmm. D-E-A-D. I got the point. Sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Thank you. I appreciate that, Dr. Amari. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.